Hey, what's going on dudes and dudettes? Today on the Tom Book Shop, we're gonna talk about an awesome Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles piece I picked up. Today we're talking about the Super 7 Ultimates Leonardo. As always, the box is nice and clean, simple. On the front, you have a Leonardo manhole cover logo. On the back, you have the TMNT insignia as always. And the best part about every Super 7's package is the reveal. They always give us a real nice open display window for all the inbox collectors out there. The details on the box all over really make this package pop. You got a nice Leonardo bio on the back. Give you a second to pause on that if you want to read it. The details continue along the other side. All right, let's bust this bad boy open, dive into him. All right, now that we got Leo out of the box, Super 7 did not disappoint yet again. Just like the other three brothers, we get a really cool upgraded design of the original 87 Playmates figure. Now, this is the variant edition of Leo. The only differences being is that his fingernails and his toenails are painted a lighter shade of green, and what was silver accents on his belt are now painted all black. And as always, Super 7 spoils us with all the accessories we get. We got two throwing stars, we got a slice of pepperoni pizza, we got an open and closed turtle com, we get the fist daggers, we get a comma, we get Leo's signature katanas, we get three sets of hands, and just like the original figure, we got a really cool unpainted weapons rack. And also, in addition to all that, they gave us a really cool optional head sculpt. Let's jump into the articulation. Alright, so with his head, we got a left tilt, we got a right tilt, he looks down, he looks up, we got a full 360 in the neck, ball joint in the shoulder, goes up about 90 degrees, we got a bicep swivel, we got a single joint in the elbow, we got full 360 in the wrist, he doesn't have any ab crunch due to his shell, but we do get some swivel here. He has really good flexibility in the thighs. We get a full 360 in the thighs as well. There's a single joint in the knee. His ankles move around really well too. Looks down really well, goes up really well, and we get a rock there. This figure is gonna be great for posing. I'll have some shots at the end. Super 7 yet again killed the design with this figure. Especially that I grew up playing with the original one, I'm definitely a fan of the upgraded version. So show it or throw it. I'm obviously showing it. I highly suggest you pick this one up if you're a fan of the TMNT or collect any of the other Super 7 figures. So on that note, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us and checking out this video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Check out all of our socials, at Nerdthusiast. If you like the content we're creating and you want to help support the channel, check out our Patreon. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Later.